Hey everybody, how are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing awesome. So the look I have for you is a dramatic gray teal and black smoky eye with a nice wine lip and some false lashes. So if you would like to see how I got this look, stay tuned. All right, to start off this look, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and the anti-aging formula. And I'm just gonna smooth this all over my eyelids. All the way up to my brow. Right, so for the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using, this is an eyes lip space, so e.l.f. Uh, 96 piece color palette. I'll be using this baby. So for my highlight color, I'm just going to be using this matte white color here. So I'm gonna take that white matte shadow on a sort of round condensed brush and just put that under my brows as my highlight. So for the inner half of our eyelid, I'm going to be using, it's kind of a really light gray color, I'm going to be using that on the inner corner. With, this is a Sephora Pro Smoky Shadow Brush number 30. Just kind of a paddle style smoky brush. So I'm going to start placing this on my inner corner. For the rest of the eyelid, I'm just going to be using, I have a dark matte gray color right here. I'm going to be using that gray color. I'm going to pull that right up into the crease as well. I'm pulling it all the way into the, your inner crease in the corner and it'll kind of fade into that lighter gray that we put there first. This is a Sephora Pro Smoky Crease Brush and the number is in 31. That's what that looks like, just a nice fluffy crease brush. For my final crease color, I'm just gonna be taking this darker gray color here. And then just start blending up that gray into your highlight color. Alrighty, so now we've got it nice and gray and just really soft and smoked out. I'm just gonna go in one more time with that white matte color, which was my highlight, and just kind of make sure that I've blended everything in. Right, so next I'm gonna start adding some green to this look. I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Small Angled Brush and one of the really dark greens in this palette. Kind of greenish teal color right here. So I'm just gonna start like making an eyeliner wing with it. Now do that on the other eye. All right, so now that we have the eyeshadow eyeliner done, we're actually gonna go in and use real eyeliner. So I'm going to be using my Maybelline Eye Studios Gel Liner in the color Black is Black. And with the brush that it comes with, I'm just gonna start making a thinner uh, winged eyeliner. I know you're not supposed to stretch your eyes, but sometimes I just have to. And then pull that wing up right underneath where the other one was. By Sephora, this is the colorful eyeliner, 24 hours in waterproof formula, basically black liquid eyeliner. So I'm just gonna outline what I did with the gel liner just so that I know it's gonna stay nice and crisp all day. This will help you clean up your lines too. So I just outlined basically the eyeliner in this. Now I'm going to take a black matte shadow from this palette and my small angled brush from e.l.f. and I'm just going to press this on top of that winged liner to keep it nice and matte and black and to help kind of seal it in place. And now I'm going to do that on the other eye and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to move on to the mascara. I'm just going to be using a layer of my Marc Jacobs Omega Lash Mascara. So 
So I have two in one box, but I'm just gonna be using the Ardell Dimmy Wispies. And I believe they're like number one or something. So the lashes look a bit like this, just a little curly kind of, you know, staggered. And I'm gonna be using this waterproof lash grip glue. Let them get a little bit tacky. Just let it sit there for a second. Get them looking okay. Now while those are drying, I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm going to be using my Coastal Scent Contour Palette with my Ulta Contour Brush. I'm just going to take the darkest color in this palette, which is this brown color, and just start carving out my contour. Oh, there's birds chirping outside. How cute! They're like, the sun has come out. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my powder brush with whatever's left on there and just use this to just buff everything in and make sure it's all nice and soft. So I'm gonna go in one more time with my uh, liner and just kind of cover that band as much as I can. Alrighty, so for blush, I'm going to be using two different blushes. I'm going to be using my Ulta Cheek Color in Afterglow with my Ulta Contour Brush. Basically just a dusty rose pinky color and putting this right on top of my contour. This is a Clinique Blush and Bronze Duo. The, obviously the bronzer is gone and this is an Iced Lotus. I'm just going to lightly put this on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back into that afterglow color. Gosh, I'm just forgetting things. So with whatever's left of that gray color on my brush from my crease, I'm just gonna run this under my lash line. I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline with my Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in Eternal White. And I'm just going to do a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes again using my Marc Jacobs Omega Lash. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Sorry guys, I'm just like jumping around like a crazy horse or something. Alright, so the eyes are done. Now the last thing we have to do is the lips, I swear. This is a Wet n Wild lipstick from the Fergie collection. And the color is Ferguson Crest Cabernet. This really, really dark purple. Excuse my dirty hand. So I'm just going to lightly use, this is another Jordana Cole Eyeliner Pencil in 02 Black. And I'm just going to use this to actually outline my lips. Probably try and like ombre it on my lips a little bit because I'm knocking everything over. But I'll go over the top of it with the lipstick. Hopefully that doesn't look too stupid. I guess it doesn't look too bad. Touching my face with dirty fingers. Time to blaze it up. Alright, so I totally love this blazer. This is like one of my favorite things ever. It uh, is floral, kind of like an 80s pattern, and I got it at Cotton On on sale, oops, for like $10, and I'm able to like roll the sleeves up a little. I love this blazer, and I wish that it was actually cool enough for me to wear it. This concludes my look. If you love it, give me a big thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can do that at any time. I do lots of cool things all the time. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a beautiful day as always. Love you, bye!